You monster. You freaking monster. You just had to do it, didn't you? What did I have to do, King Flick? Please tell me. EA 20, E3 2017, Bubsy is back. This. <laughs> well, clearly somebody is very happy at Bubsy's return, isn't he? But we're not here. Now I won't be able to sleep at night. <laughs> oh, poor little changeling. Poor King Flick. But that is not the E3 video you're here to see. No, no, no. You are here to see... Battlefield 1 DLC, published by EA, coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC. So yes, welcome back to the E3 coverage. Oh god, everybody's replying, it's just showed up in the bottom left, as you, or the bottom right, as you can see there. Where is the Battlefield stuff? Need for Speed, Atham, oh did I not, oh god, they're all talking. I didn't even make a Battlefield book, but I will tell you about Battlefield while we're quickly making the book so battlefield once again i watched the footage back and oh my god there is no footage whatsoever again battlefield one dlc oh dl all right then let's put in battlefield battlefield one dlc there we go sign thank you so yeah i was watching the footage back and once again, there is no gameplay. I mean, there's gameplay of the original Battlefield, but there's, like, nothing of substance. Again, I'll put the footage in the top right corner. It lasts for four minutes, and two of those minutes are just the original Battlefield 1. Like, it doesn't talk about the DLC. It's just the original Battlefield 1, and it's just a bunch of YouTubers playing the game and showing off, like, highlights of people blowing up tanks and shit. And it's like, what has this got to do with your DLC? What has, what has this, what has random YouTubers got to do? With your DLC, it's got no Pig, why? Why is he showing YouTubers doing shit and not showing off the actual things we're here to see? I know, it's terrible, Mr. Pig. Absolutely awful. Anyway, let's get on to the description. This one, they were very descriptive of what they're bringing. I will give the guy 5 out of 5. He was very descriptive of what they're bringing to this DLC. So this DLC includes three nighttime maps, which I'm still a little bit uh, skeptical on. I'm still a little bit, are you actually serious? Because when I'll bring up a screenshot in a minute and I'll put that on the top left, but when I saw this particular shot in the video and they said, this is the DLC map, I'm like, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I'm pretty sure and then I went back and checked and I was right. But when I first saw it, I'm like, I'm pretty sure that nighttime map was in the story mode of the original. Like, when you first made the Battlefield 1 trailer last year, I'm pretty sure I saw that exact map at nighttime in the trailer. And lo and behold, it was in the trailer. It's took you a whole year to make that map multiplayer. It's take What? It's taken you a whole year to make the nighttime map multiplayer. That's a bit bullshit, EA. But anyway, that wasn't the main thing in the description. The main thing in the description was the Russian um, Latvian campaign mode where you are going to be playing as a star of... Um, I can't remember what it said. Like, the year of Stal. 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 Rupels. In my country, we drink vodka. So it's, uh, yeah, it's the new Russian DLC where you go and you drinky, drinky the vodka. And it showed off all of the new items that you're going to be able to use, like the shank knife where they stabbed him up the butt and then in the neck. But, I mean, at this point, the, the trailer and all, all the Battlefield 1 footage is probably already half over. We're probably onto the bit where they're showing the YouTubers screaming like idiots, being like, oh, that'll never happen again in my entire Battlefield 1 career. Never. It's not like I could very easily recreate that. So, yeah, again, there's like next to no footage. It's just, this is 
And this is what I mean about EA. Like, half their conferences were taken up with this. Half the conferences were taken up with just random people being like, Oh, look at this thing I did in Battlefield. Look at this thing I did in FIFA. Look at this thing I did in this other game. It's like, we don't care. Like, I get it. It was a very, it was a very impressive thing. And if I found it randomly on YouTube, I'd probably leave you a like. Because congratulations very impressive thing but I'm not here to see you jump off a horse and blow up a tank on on E3 I'm here to hear the man tell me what DLC I'm going to be buying for Battlefield 1 I'm here to tell for the man to tell me what new games are coming out I don't care about your achievement and that was half of EA's press conference and that's why it felt so tedious and bloated and why you could have easily fit that entire hour conference into 30 minutes because Half of it, 40 minutes of it, was them just going, look at this person that did this thing. Look at the, look at this footballer that's doing a thing. Look at these football commentators. I don't care, EA. I don't care. I just want to hear about the games. Now, the graphics, we've already seen the graphics. This one we can easily do. We saw the new maps graphics as well. And they have made some nice graphics. The, the world looks real. It looks like the, the particle effects, like the dust and the smoke and stuff, look all very nice. You know, there is a few things that look a bit low res. But overall, you can easily give the graphics 4 out of 5. They do look amazing. That's the one thing that they have worked on. And especially that nighttime map with all of the fire. They've got the glowing and the shading right. It's a good job. It looks fine. Uh, as for the pre-rendering, there was a little bit EA, EA constantly sneaking that pre-rendering in, especially to the Russian DLC, where we saw quite a few uh, cutscenes all pre-rendered up, and it was like, oh, come on. But they did show enough footage of the DLC and of the new weapons to be able to show you what they're going to be selling you. So it was a 3 out of 5. They did show a bit, but at least they showed some actual fucking gameplay this time. Unlike Madden, where they showed absolutely nothing, gave us no descriptions, and didn't tell us what platforms it was going to be on. So at least they showed something. And as for the gameplay, I mean, it's it's a, it's a toss-up, really. Like, I think Battlefield 1's gameplay is kind of bad. And I'm I'm going to be slightly biased, but I'm gonna be try I'm gonna try and meet you halfway here. I think it's slightly bad. I think it's got stupid decisions. Decisions that to this day have not been fixed, like when the game first came out and even when you spawned, the very second you spawned, you got shot dead. I mean all you gotta do is watch video game donkeys video. Hey dudes, here I am with the new battlefield. Oh, that's a tank. <laughs> Okay. Don't worry, dudes. I got a good feeling about this one. And that shit on the tank. Go back. I'm Please don't have a tank. Please don't have a tank. Ooh! Ooh, no tank! Okay. Now we can get to work. <laughs> yep. Yep. Right. I'm telling you guys, once I get out of the spawn, I go crazy in this game. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> How am I the top guy on the team? <gasps> I get to play! Never mind. You guys, I've been alive for like 20 seconds now. I think, I think, I... <laughs> Can I just please play the game? Is... Do you get to play the game in this game? <laughs> There's nobody around. I get to play the game now. <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Come the fuck on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, what is that? Grenade? Oh, hey, there we go. Hey. Oh, what? I hate this fucking game. I'm in a tank! I'm in a tank. We get a shot now. This is such a fucking clusterfuck. I have no control over anything. What? I'm still alive? Objective button. It's an enemy tank. Maybe we can sneak past. Let's just try a different game mode, maybe. Yeah, that. And they still haven't fixed that. Like, they still... You, you can spawn and get shot. And this is fucking stupid, EA. Like, give us 20 seconds of invincibility to be able to at least run into a safe position. Or just make, make like, some sort of algorithm where you spawn in a place that won't kill you instantly. So I think the gameplay is kind of crap. 
I mean, some of the dog fights in the air are all right, so I'll just say three out of five. It's average for me. Some other people might like it. Some That's why a lot of people will probably be excited for this DLC, but... It, Battlefield not for me. So the final verdict for Battlefield, like the DLC, I mean the nighttime maps are really stupid and I don't see how it's taken considering the one with the fire was in the first trailer a year ago. I don't see how it's taken you a year to make the nighttime maps into multiplayer because I'm pretty sure I've heard they're in the single player campaign as well. I'm pretty sure I've seen them in the single player campaign as well so I don't understand how it's taken you a year to just press port to multiplayer like press one bloody button. So I think the nighttime map thing is stupid. Oh and you didn't give us a price which is going to knock you down. You'll be very sneaky and uh, sly enough to not tell anybody how much that Russian expansion is going to be. And, as I say, it's just a first-person shooter to me. It looks average. It looks okay, I guess. So, I, I, I don't know. Three out of five, it, it looks average to me. It, it's okay. And you know what? It's not It's not quite a bad game. We're going to make another... We're going to make another chest really quick inside the house. And this is going to be the... Meh. The meh chest. Eh. It's alright. It's kind of crap really, but... Eh. Whatever. It's... It exists. It exists. And that's that's as much as it'll ever be. It won't be good. It won't be bad. It's just... Meh. It exists. So, congratulations. You were saved from the death chest by being the most average you could be. Still a bit better than Call of Duty at least, but... Eh. It's alright to me. Nothing nothing special. But, that's okay. Because I'm not into shooting. Like, I've got my shooters. I've got Overwatch. And people might be saying, oh, Overwatch fanboy. I've tried other shooters, but when you get so many multiplayer. And we've got Star Wars Battlefront 2, which looks a lot better to me. And I'll have a lot more positive things to say about that. So it's like, when you have so many online shooters, you don't have time for them all. So you've just got to say, which ones do I like the most? Which two or three am I going to stick with? Well, obviously Overwatch. I like Overwatch more than Battlefield. So that's the one that I've picked. That's the one I've put the time into to learn all of the characters. So that's the one you stick with. But other people might be the reverse and be like, I got Battlefield 1 before Overwatch, so that's the one that I'm going to put all my time into. So, can't do Overwatch, we're doing Battlefield 1. So, it's a matter of personal taste on this one. But I will have some other stuff to say about the, the online shooters when we come to the Star Wars Battlefront 2, which will be at the end because that's the last one they showed off. But for now... Thank you all for watching. Do feel free to share your thoughts on the battlefield situation down below. And if you enjoyed the video, do feel free to leave a like. And of course, there is more E3 coverage coming in mere moments time. About another half an hour's time when this is rendered and uploaded. So if you don't want to miss any of the E3 footage this weekend, do please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell so that the notifications will actually come through. And there are links to my Twitter and DeviantArt to see what I'm posting right now, live reactions, and links below to the public Discord if you want to come in and chat with everybody else, see what they're thinking, and a link below to the Patreon if you'd like to go an extra mile, but you don't have to. But for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next one where I think we are going to be covering FIFA 2018.